Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this, then we already know that you know how to party. And we found the perfect drink to level up any occasion. It's for the Ragers, the Spring Breakers, life of the party. This is your new favorite drink. Introducing Pirate Water, a canned ready to go malt beverage with 10% alcohol. It comes in four epic flavors such as Margarita, Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, and Miami Vice. You guys, this drink has really, I I'm not even joking around. I'm not even messing with you. I'm not fucking with you. This drink is my new favorite drink. Instead of getting like a million thousand drinks when you're at the bar, you just get two of these bad boys and you, you're pretty much good for the night. So if you want to get yours, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com or order, order it on GoPuff today. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We have Tuffy in the building. Tuffy. Let's go. Let's welcome, welcome, go. welcome, welcome. You guys were just doing something. What were you guys doing? Well, oh, are we allowed to? Yeah, okay. I, I didn't know if it was I, a secret I, special. I just haven't That's posted awesome. the first episode. I'm like five episodes behind because I'm like a control freak. That's fair. That's a good thing. I People are like, you're just like your mom. I'm like, no, it's my Virgo rising. <laughs> um, I, it's basically, I had this idea of like, Everybody else is getting jobs that I want, all right? I'm uh -huh. seeing these bitches getting jobs that I want, and I interview people all the time, but then I'll show up to a venue, and they're like, oh, we gave it to somebody else, but you can still come. I was going to leave. <laughs> but like, so... It, like interviewing jobs? Interviewing jobs, or like red carpet jobs, or whatever. I also understand red wanting... Red carpet jobs, whatever. But, but, like <laughs> events. Know, just that. But I understand also there's room for everybody. But I think yeah. it's kind of like fucked up for someone to be like, oh, somebody else said yes, and... And then I look at their stuff and it's all interview stuff. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know what? I have cool friends. Mm. I want to ask them questions. So basically I came up with some questions and I just put them in a bowl. And I kept thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And then I took my friend to the Super Bowl because he's from Philadelphia. I didn't think it was going to be the worst day of his life. I had no idea I was going to be there for that. Oh, man. Dude, crying. I had to call my mom like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I was like the dolphins. Oh, all the that's time. so awkward. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's like sobbing. comforting he's like a, a grown talking man. To his dad, his dad's <laughs> crying. He's like, we almost had it. I'm like, not Steve. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. not Steve. I'm like, Steve. they're and there, so, son. I'm with the Uber. He's like, no, no music. I'm like, you don't understand. I've never needed the ox more. <laughs> Let me play latch, please. We need, we need the vibes, please. <laughs> you know. So I, um, I was like, everybody was calling like, this is my Super Bowl. I'm like, that'd be a good name for like the bowl question. Yeah. So I call it my Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. I love that. So then I just do it. And I had like three wines and I put up all the questions or whatever. And then at the end of the episode, everybody gets to write their own question. Okay. But everybody gets so dark. Yeah. I wanted to write, what's your biggest fear? Yeah. And don't tell me what you actually wrote, but okay. like, or, like one of my friends, Charles Gross, uh -huh. uh, Hermes, I always, <gasps> yeah. isn't he amazing? I didn't know you were here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would have thrown her fucking sandal from Miami. She knew I had my back to you. <laughs> no. Um, I, love I hate when so people much. do that. It's, it's the worst, worst feeling worst. ever. Yeah, people don't know. I walk but, away. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God well, damn. you don't like me, I'm leaving. That's fair. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's she's unfollowing me. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking hate me. You know I mean? But uh, uh, he, people don't know how like dark Charles is. He's yeah. so fucking funny. Or he's like, I'm like, how, really what funny do you people do? are dark, I think. Yeah. But yeah. he is also does not move his face. Like okay. no. this is like, I'm like, what do you think Anna Wintour does in her sp in her, in her spare time? He's like hardcore porn. <laughs> he's like he's like his her assistant walks in and it's just like <laughs> and she's like mm -hmm, like keeps her sunglasses on he's just it. so yeah. fucking funny she just that episode <laughs> just fucking an old American hammer okay, she keeps her glasses on yeah. Yeah. she doesn't have so, eyes if you guys her, her wig doesn't that. move but also I was telling you two glass eyes I call her Gracie I call, I call her Gracie Pace baby oh, yes. oh, like Gracie, Gracie baby. baby and uh, I was she was like afterwards when we were after she was like oh I'm usually funny I'm like no this is an opportunity for people to see you in another way too yeah, you know that's what I, mean? what I said when yeah, she was yeah, talking about it. Yeah, I just said that, and Brie was like, "Well, dude, it wasn't like that. It's not, it like was not funny. Yeah. <laughs> like a, your your TikTok can't be like, well, I'm from the psych ward, and then yeah. another one. Yeah. Here's a joke. Like you're yeah. a person. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And I think um, a lot of people also wanted to know about like people want to know like style. Like, there's a style question. Like uh -huh. um, when you dress yourself, like what are you trying to communicate something? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And yeah, and some of my friends said, yeah, I want someone to fuck me. And I'm like, that's valid. Oh, no, that's true. Fair. What yeah. would you say your style is? I would say I want to stay uh, curious. I want to stay creative. Okay. But I, but there's a, sometimes I go to, I talk a lot about Y2K because I was there. Yeah. I was in the mud. She yeah, lived people there. forget that. I always think you're our age. I, me too. Look at it. I look, <laughs> at, look, look at my forehead. Not that far off. <laughs> but like, I, but when I tell people, like I saw Mean Girls and Legally Blonde in theaters, 
People are like, whoa. I'm like, that's okay, sick. it's not fucking that Casablanca. Sick. <laughs> no, that's sick, though. That's <laughs> sick. Come on. You know, but so I talk a lot about Y2K. And then when I show up to like photo shoots or like an event, it's like, um, I'm like, guys, this is a costume. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in what world am I going to do space buns? I'm 30 fucking two years old. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, I want to be in a way where I can still dress like myself and I can still be colorful and, um, but also fun. And I think there's a way to do that. Yeah. You know? For and it's sure. Amazon belts. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, the belts are coming back full fetch right now. Yeah. And you, did you get one? Yeah, I did. And okay. I have a wet seal belt in Miami, oh, which is shit. crazy. Is that, is, you're a Miami girl. Yeah. I'm a Miami girl. We never really got into the Miami. Uh, well, we don't know Miami. We don't know the real You know Miami. Miami. <laughs> okay, can you rank, can you, let's go through Miami, New York, and LA. LA is, well, how, how many cities are there in the US? It's last. <laughs> okay, just, why? Why do you hate it so much? Well, I don't hate it. It's just it makes me uncomfortable. One, I've never gone for leisure. So I feel like there's a whole other side That's of LA true. that I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when people are like, have you gone to this taco place? I'm like, no, I was in this fucking darkly lit theater. Yeah. yeah. This I was whole actually time. on the red carpet. I, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know. Chick fil A the whole time. I Ubered to my hotel. Yeah. <laughs> or like yeah. on the red carpet. You know how like you practice in the mirror and then you get on the red carpet and you're like, Oh my God! You forgot yeah. how to smile, and then your the lips start quivering. Lamar Odom said that he's like, I do these. Fo- fo- we love you, Lam Lam. <laughs> but like a he, in an episode with Chloe, he was like, every photo, my mouth gets tighter. Yeah, yeah. And then your lips start quivering. And then I told my manager that I was like, do I have tight mouth? He's like, well, now I see it. Yeah, I was like, fuck, fuck. Like, dude, you're no. supposed to lie to me. But I think in LA, when I get there, it's like there's this energy there, where I feel like so many broken dreams so many people fucked over Mm -hmm. like i have a my cousin works in the music industry and like she'll tell me stories about the music industry and i'm like she's like to work in music you have to sell a piece of your soul like truly you have to expect people to fuck you over and i'm like i'm too sensitive for that fucking shit i'm way too sensitive for that that and fashion that fashion i feel like fashion is just cutthroat I think that people, people in fashion, first of all, go fuck yourselves. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, was, I think they're so much above people, and it's like, like we get it. You're thin. Vision. It's yeah. like, yeah, come on. Man. And then, and then people are like, oh my god, it's not that she's mean, she's hungry. And I'm like, I know a lot of hungry people who are nice to me. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? You know, <laughs> like, but I think uh, fashion is just, it's like a. It's like a club where it's like, I knew that band first. You know the person? Yeah. Or like, oh, I remember when Versace first came out. I'm like, okay, so you're 70. What do you want Sick. me to do? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Don't tell me more about your old money. You know what I mean? But, but then there are a lot of people that are really, really welcoming. Mm. And then you always get that pep talk before you go where they're uh-huh. like, they're a little dry around the edges, but like, <laughs> yeah. you know, they're nice. And it's a person that like won't take off their fucking sunglasses. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Larry David said that there are two people who don't take off their sunglasses, it's blind people and assholes. <laughs> That's so fucking I like true. that. That's a good line. Yeah. He's got a lot of, he's got a, got a, a lot of good lines. Yeah, a lot of good lines. You know yeah, what I mean? Okay. Yeah. But I, I, my first real job was in fashion, like being a stylist or whatever. And at the end of the day, I think it's just like anybody that works in this industry, whether it be hair, makeup, styling, there's a moment where you can tell somebody feels good. Mm. But that's comedy too. Yeah, that's like true. it's you there's a moment where you realize somebody feels special or pretty or funny or whatever and that's the best. Yeah. That's the best, you know. That's a good takeaway from the job. Feel good. So yeah. Yeah. any fashion party that I go to where I'm like you, this is a dick measuring contest. Mm. I'm not. I'm probably not going back. I yeah, don't, I don't care. You've been. You, you said you were a personal trainer. You just said you were a stylist. I've done what is Teffy before? What if is somebody's cutting me a check <laughs> and you told me to rewire your electric, I said I can do it. <laughs> Give me two I hours on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, electricians for dummies. <laughs> yeah, please. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I don't pay my rent. <laughs> like, been there. <laughs> yeah, I've done, I did everything. I've been, I've done. Um, I've worked doors at events, lists. I've pretended to be a photographer. I've, <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> um, I've been a producer, assistant producer. I've helped uh, style. Like, but I think it's not hard to tell that like every job I've done is a personality hire. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either, though. Or they I can't mean, tell if I'm like. Awesome. You could just do anything you want in life. I'm, I call myself flubber. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, they can't tell if I'm white or not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I am a white. I am a white. You know what I mean? But white. Like, yeah, I, th- I think that's the most important thing in life too is like to remain adaptable. Mm, yeah. 
where like somebody could tell you right now listen if you told me to cut this i'd be like i have iMovie <laughs> yeah. send it you can figure it, figure it out, out. Send it for a I check a little longer <laughs> please for a check you could tell me i had to do the whole episode with a red nose i'll put it on hong kong i don't care <laughs> i don't care i think that's a difference too sometimes when you meet people who've been doing it for a long long time like the um, maybe a stand-up comedian's been doing it for a long time. They're not excited about things anymore, mm. and they're not adaptable anymore. They just want to do what they want to do. And I want to, rem- I want to remain someone that like can that can always jump in. You yeah. know what I mean? Like my grandpa used to say it to me all the time that the CEO should be able to do every job in in the building, and you should always treat the janitor like he would be the CEO one day because in this country he might be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think it's important. So then I look at somebody and when they're like, hi, I'm like, when I hire you, I'm going to fire you. Yeah, well, and you know exactly you. who they come from and where they came from yeah. too. It's like a learned thing. Like, you know, their family's shitty. They weren't brought up right. They're just like a bad person from the court because they were learned bad things. Yeah. And, and it was like bad irreversible, really. Yeah. I think people don't know how like nice you are. People see you as like harsh. I know. You'll uh, give people. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, she's so fucking nice. People, uh, when I did my reality show like the contestants came up to me after and they're like i thought you were gonna be so mean i'm know. like what why i'm literally so nice to every single individual that i meet i give everyone the same energy everyone everyone gets a fair like fair game until you fuck me yeah like I, if i don't like you because i know you're a bad person i'll make it known that i fucking don't like you but yeah. like that's but so you'll different. be like is it something I, are you okay is it something i did i'm like yeah, yeah you're fine you're, yeah, yeah. you're perfect i think i'm too fucked up <laughs> <laughs> but uh I, I feel like uh you're someone also that like like us, like like me and Gracie, <laughs> we chat. That like uh, you when you meet people, you're like, okay, I, kn- I know this person has like a bad reputation. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, let's see, because a lot of people talk a lot of shit. Yeah. And you give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. But a lot of times, I think it's no, not a lot of times. Two times, I've been like, why the fuck did I give that person the bod, the benefit of the doubt? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. bod. They fucking suck. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, and yeah, some people just don't deserve it. After you, after you meet them, you're like, ah, fuck you. Why did yeah. I even waste my time? Yeah. I think if I was like your age, if I was like, no, oh, if I was like five 21. Someone, yeah. Think. yeah. Five minutes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like five you minutes can tell can how read. they say hi to you. Yeah. Mm. Like, was there like, or treat, like, hi. say you're at, uh, this is the big giveaway. Say you sit down at like a restaurant with someone and they treat the staff mm. like incorrectly, which is, there's a very incorrect way to treat staff. If you treat somebody no, who's I providing you a service. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, like, I'll take this, thanks, and just hand it. Like, excuse like, me, thanks. I'm talking. What the fuck is wrong with you? I will literally kill you. I'll stab you here. We have friends where we have to thank for them. I'm like, thank you. They say thank you. They yeah. said thank you. They meant to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the business of, like, I do not have a degree in education. I am not going to teach somebody how to be in the world. Mm. You can't. Yeah. I won't. I won't. I'm too tired. If I was young, though, like, I, young, well, you know what I mean. If I was younger, I think being flexible and, like, compromise is a young quality. Because mm. as you get older and you do things the way that you like and you're around people that you like and you figure it out, because you're on the ages, you're on the age where you start to figure out you don't have a lot in common with the people you've been friends with for a long time, except you've known each other a long time. Yeah. And that's hard. Legacy last friends. Week, yeah. We were talking about that last yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, uh, I, do you know um, the guy with the camera, Reese? He's yes. on TikTok. So he was right before Gracie Pacey mm-hmm. Baby. Oh, okay. And they're both 24. And Reese was telling me, he's like, I'm alone more and more often. And I wanted to tell him, uh, I have an older cousin. She's eight years older than me, so she's like the cool cousin. She went to like art school. Yeah. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, want to see me hit the t ball? <laughs> you know. But and she went to Pratt and she lived in Brooklyn before all of us. Oh, you know what I mean? She was like, cool. She was so fucking oh, cool. So cool. She's just like Chloe Sevigny. I always say that. Her name is Maggie. I'm like, you're just like Chloe. She married her college sweetheart. Go fuck yourselves. Oh. They're obsessed with each other. Oh, it's but, and they don't want, and they don't want any kids, and they just live in like oh, Australia for like months ideal. at a time. Come back. Come back. That's what I. She's like friends with Danny DeVito for some reason. What? Let's go. I could never be cooler. <laughs> what? The I could fuck? never I mean, ever be cooler. No, you where Strive comes like, from. Cool. Her spine is straight. You <laughs> know yes. it. So good. Good core. She she's four. She just turned forty and she has an eight pack. Of course she does. Oh, wow. She's like I go to parties two times a week. I'm like <laughs> you're just born a perfect specimen. <laughs> and she's, she's so a smart. Lucky, lucky girl. <laughs> and she's so nice and like um and she always made the effort to like talk to her younger cousins because it's, it's only five of us like an immediate family. Yeah. And it's my brother, my sister, myself, maybe one other cousin, whatever, and her. There's always that yeah. other cousin. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and so I remember when I was around 22, 23, 24, I would come over more and more often because they're in Connecticut, but my other fa- like my mom and everybody's in Miami. Mm. So if I need to get away mm-hmm. and 
I haven't hustled in like two weeks. I'm yeah. going to Connecticut. Yeah. I'm getting on the Metro <laughs> North. I remember one time she sat with me and she was like, you're getting to that age where um, you're starting not to like your friends and you feel bad about it. Mm. It's, it's them. It's yeah. always, oh, yeah. you're just different. It's okay. And she's like, it's the, the, the answer isn't cutting them off. You're just not meant to be that close. Yeah, and that's we okay. Feel like we ha- we're like we have no friends, and then we're like, is it an us problem? Are we bad people type of thing? Yeah, no. it's, it's like a self reflection thing because bad people too- don't think don't wonder if they're bad people. That's true. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess yeah. that's true. my mom says that bad people don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah they just true. don't. Yeah. Pe- uh, good people make mistakes. Yeah. Good people say I'm sorry. Good people feel shame. You know what I mean? Your family has great advice. Yeah, yeah no I guess. So cool. <laughs> you come from the cool family, like I just talked about. You yes. come from cool people. Yes. You know what's crazy is that I come from the most boring. I think the worst, the the craziest thing that ever happened was like uh, in my in my like in my it's, like because I see these movies where like things are always happening where it's like uh, that Jessica Jessica Sarah Jessica Parker movie, The Family Stone. Where it's like all these like personalities are in the house, and one guy's the artist, whatever. Oh, yeah. My family is so boring. <laughs> none of us are. None of us have alcohol issues, drug issues. <laughs> We're all workaholics. You know what I mean? But I used to look at people. I'm like, can somebody be addicted to something? I need <laughs> yeah. a little life I in need here. Some spice. Yeah, I need some drama. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Jennifer's dad. <laughs> can't stop drinking he's hilarious <laughs> yeah that's you know what, what we were mean? just talking about she was like yeah we don't like have any alcoholism in our family if we did we would like have a conversation about it oh it'd be I'm serious like, oh all we do yeah. is just like uh crack jokes about how funny it is yeah no, but <laughs> like uh, that's crazy to me too because i watch tv and they're like yeah my dad he sucked ha <laughs> i'm like oh there's a lot of pain behind those eyes yeah. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah you yeah. don't laugh yeah. you cry <laughs> like literally the the reason my parents broke up is because they're both workaholics. Yeah. But we love, um, I told you, I love a chick. Yeah. We all have that disease, you know what I mean? But my mom growing up, she was like, you think right now that like the rock and roll shit, like you watch, like you think you're like Motley Crue, I'm like, I'm better. <laughs> but, you know, like, a, like you think that you're like this like fucking little rock and roller, whatever, whatever. But you'll see that you'll want a boring, mundane house life and you want your career to be super exciting. And I am there now. Yeah. yeah. Where people are like, do you want to do something? I'm like, we're sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> we're already doing something. We're good. But then so Reese you find like, a lot of joy in your work. I do, yeah. I have a lot of joy in my work. And mm-hmm. I also, that's what I tell people too, like, is it hard working with influencers? I'm like, I, out of everybody that I, every content creator, whether it be an actor, a, a, somebody who's in music, whatever. I've met two shitty people. Those are great odds. Mm. Those are good odds. Yeah, yeah, we say that too. We're like, we talk a lot of shit about it, but we've met more good than bad. Yeah. Absolutely. We talk a lot of shit about it because there are shitty parts of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's parts where you're just like, I just swallow my pride for the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a different it's lifestyle. Like, yeah. Some people are just a little more delusional than others. Yeah. You guys but do that's something. that's their own thing. Different like morals. And that's where I find like, I just don't relate to you. So I feel like I don't like you, but it's just, we don't relate. Yeah. It's not that I, I don't like you. I'm just not the same as you. You guys spend a lot of, you guys do a lot more than I do though. Energy wise, you got to be on in front of a, in front of hundreds of people that expect you to be the best thing yeah. about their college experience. Yeah. yeah. I would look at someone and I'd be like, uh oh, reality setting in. I'm a person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, but you guys got to be like, let's fucking go. Yeah. You know, Strange. I could yeah. never do that. And yeah. I think people, when they see you at the airport and you're like, I have to be nice with this person because I don't want them to think I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. They don't know what it costs you when you're like hungover, waiting for your fucking plane <laughs> yeah. to board. And then you sit down, they're like, sorry, we got to deport the plane. And then you're off again. <laughs> and then you see the person you said hello to before and you're like, yeah. They don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they want us to be like, oh, I'm dying over here. Yeah. But we, we, we'll, just, we'll just toss well. them like, a, I'm dying right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we, just, we, we tell on ourselves. We're brutally yeah. honest. We tell on ourselves. Yeah. No, I say I'm so hungover and I think you should step back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might throw up yeah. Literally. Sorry, I'm usually not like this. Man. It's just about to blow. I know. Well, it's also yeah. getting to the point where I'm like, I, everyone's like, yeah, I don't want to be like the 30 year old party girl. I'm like, my mom's a party girl. Yeah. She's VP of her business, of like the bank bank that she works at. Like she has the same best friend since kindergarten. And she met other best friends when we, when I went to nursery school and me and those kids are still friends and she gets on the bar. Yeah. She's yeah. A, she, if you can do you, both, then you can do both. She is single. That's fun. Yeah. I yeah. was like, I like that's what I want to do. Single. Yeah. She's like, I'm like, do you ever think about dating? She's like, 
the thought of telling someone what I'm doing is insane. Yeah, because she just, it's like her life. She's living it. When did her and your dad I was split? seven. Okay. And then she like dated for a while, but I don't think she's dated since like early 2000s. And I'll tell you something, she's the happiest person I know. Really? That's phenomenal. In- I'm sure there's other stuff that you don't tell your dog. Like she has a life, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like whatever. But she's fucking. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> your mom's low. Go mom. Go she's mom. She's Miami. <laughs> but like, I think truly like she, she tells me, she's like, I own my house. I have my pets. My kids are healthy and fine. My sister just proposed to her partner. We oh, love no her. Way. They're getting married to him. We, we told my sister, if you don't propose to her, we are going to. <laughs> we love her. We're doing it for you. My brother is super happy with his relationship. He's like super. Um, oh, I remember you were looking for a, um, a mate for your, for your and brother. And he found it. She's back. a tattoo artist. And oh, she's nice. incredible. She's Filipino. <laughs> she brought me really nice treats oh, oh, nice. they've been together for like two years they were friends first they're beautiful together they go dress up as sonic together to the arcade live your lives let's go <laughs> yes i Do love it thing. Yeah. yeah he has all these shitty tattoos and he's like my baby she's getting better you know what i mean like he loves her so my mom is like i look at you me i'm not dead <laughs> You know, there was a, I think there was a time where there was like, I'm a little worried about Tef. Yeah. I'm like, uh, what was that time? Uh, when I was telling you I could have been, I, I'll be your plumber yeah. if you want me to. You know what I mean? And and she, I mean, she's hustling, but. Yeah. I think but she's going to get herself killed. Yeah, you know, literally. And it's going to be like a, a bug bite. It wouldn't yeah. be like a, I was just like always out. Let's take a second to talk about Julie. Julie is an FDA approved morning after pill that helps stop pregnancy before it starts. Julie is aiming to be the emergency contraception company for the next generation, one of learning and acceptance, not stigma and shame. Julie stops your body from releasing an egg using the same active ingredient as Plan B or other morning after pills. Essentially, Julie works by preventing or delaying your ovulation with no egg, there's no fertilization, there's no pregnancy, and it's no risk for future fertility. It works best when it's taken right away or within 72 72 hours of unprotected sex. Julie just launched at CVS, but you can also find Julie at Target and Walmart stores across the U.S. You can also order online to have for the future, just in case. It's legal in 50 states. You do not, an, you do not need an ID, prescription, or credit card to get it. You can go to juliecare.co to learn more or find Julie at your nearest CVS, Target, or Walmart today. It's juliecare.co to learn more. Let's get back to the show. I was telling uh, Gracie, Pacey, baby, too, <laughs> that going, some people see it as like partying. I'm like, I have, that for me is the social part. It's not even, I'm not going out to get fucked up. It happens. <laughs> but it's like, I love my fucking friends. Yeah. I just, yeah. But, we don't even leave the apartment sometimes. Yeah. Sister Act 2 karaoke? Are you fucking crazy? Oh, happy day. Yeah, it comes on. I'm not fucking going anywhere. You know? Like, it's the, the whole like, know, aspect of just like being with people and cracking jokes nothing i love more than cracking jokes with my buddies making someone laugh come on that is the best making your boys laugh come on (laughs) making your boys the whole squad (laughs) crack up come on absolutely got the whole squad left it's the best feeling my friends and i we always get fucked up too and we'll be somewhere like in someone's apartment and we'll be like you felt it too yeah this place is haunted as fuck no (laughs) bitch you're just drunk i'm like it's so haunted i feel it i feel it we're all haunted (laughs) so haunted i hope it doesn't um attach to me (laughs) i wake up i'm like can you believe that demon last night oh my god yeah i love it something not so cool happened last night oh you should make yourself weed Weed is tight weed is tight (laughs) weed is tight what do you want me to do jack off like a fucking pilgrim i fucking favorite movie dude that movie i saw that movie with my mom no, I did oh, too. Cool. Well, you we did? started with my dad. Oh, yeah. Remember? And then the dick comes out. Yeah. No, dead. my mom was not a cool mom growing up. She, If I was turning 21 in two weeks uh-huh. and it was like a party, she's like, why would I let you drink alcohol? You're not 21. I'm like, you grew up in Colombia. <laughs> you, My grandfather used to smoke cigarettes when you were 12. Get the fuck out of here. She, she's like, sorry. It's, okay, not for I'm, her not, baby girl. I'm not that mom. And she'd be like, I'm your mother, not your friend. And I was telling her like, well, yeah, but now she wants to know about my life. I'm like, my whole life you told me you weren't my my mother, not my friend. I'm scared of you (laughs) and I can't share these details. I think it's because I paid my bills. right, you guys all turned out good. Yeah. Yeah. Stay on scares me a little. Yeah, you're going to be okay, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, you're cool, you're cool. It's like covered in anime tattoos. I'm like, well, he's a creative. (laughs) You know, he, I, I was like, oh, what do you want to do years ago? He's like, I want to be an editor. Like, he wants to edit stuff. I'm like, that's sick because that's the person who, like, it, it ensures that the story is being told. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's super sick. He has a great eye. And the other day I was like, oh, show me what you've been working on. He's like a compilation of my friends, of his friends, <laughs> puking. 
Nice. And I'm like, because they're fucked up. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, you saw the one of Kevin? He's like, yeah, that's our pool. <laughs> How old is your brother? My brother's 26. <laughs> we could yeah. probably get him a job here. Yeah. It sounds like he fits. He could be on this pod with us. Yeah. He's like, did you hear? I'm like, oh, let's FaceTime Joe. I, I love Joe, my friend that I went to Tokyo with. Let's FaceTime Joe. He's like, don't do that. That guy ripped off my foreskin last time. Oh, I saw God. him. I said, what? He goes, How? He's like, I'm just kidding. But the fact that you were a little worried is a little worrisome about your friend Joe. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, he trips me up all the time where I look at him and I go to sleep and I'm like, the, I want to, I want to osmosis Jones. I want to be in a young man's brain. That's see so how bad. Tired. So bad. Why would you bring a foreskin? Yeah, what? If that's just on the tip of your tongue. Always. I've never even thought about your foreskin. Yeah. <laughs> never. <laughs> I've never ever been like, no, hey, can I ask you something, bro? Never. No. no. Never. I, but I don't know. The internet kids are so fucking funny. That's what it is. He's one of those people. He calls me a normie. I'm like, I'm not a fucking normie. In no way, since a sh- of shape normie? or form. He looks at oh, me. Oh, that's offensive. Yeah, it's super yeah. offensive. You know, he I'd called me. Him. He's like, loser. Like, literally. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, he's like, you're such a normie. And I'm like, you think my, do you think I'm the normie of my friends? He's like, no, all you guys are normies. Well, it's because you don't wear a Sonic thing, a Sonic suit to the fucking. No, I have tried that. I have tried. I have tried. I'm like, let me go with you. He's like, I prefer not to. I'm like, I'm uncool to you. I'm That's uncool so to you. Funny that Damn. You're uncool. I was like, I don't live with my mom. He's like, dumbass. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You got me. You right. 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 got me. Dumbass. <laughs> like my my mom is like, wouldn't it be so crazy if you like lived without me and he's like why would i do that mommy and she's like i love you mommy. you're my mommy come on <laughs> Mama. she's like he, he won't leave he won't leave i know uh, she just wants to she, she's trying to fuck my brother oh yeah, no wait, no oh. she wants to fuck <laughs> herself so she can no, okay. no 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 all right, all right, all right. my brother that'd be, that'd bro, be too normal that was a foreskin thought we love we love our like my siblings partner so much like so growing up, my mom, like, I don't know. Do you guys have siblings? Like my pow- my towels were the pink towels. My cups were the orange cups. My oh, brother yes. was a red towel. My sister was like the purple or blue towel, whatever. And I never go, I have an apartment in Miami, but I go to my mom's house, obviously for like dinner or whatever. And I'm, sometimes if I'm in Miami for like five hours and I have to go somewhere, I'll sleep at my mom's house because I want to, it's my whole point of like having a place there. So one of those times I come home and I'm <laughs> and my mom just got back from Colombia. She goes to Colombia once a month to see family. And she uh, I'm looking, I'm like, there's a pink towel <laughs> hanging up on the bathroom door. <laughs> and I touch it. I go, <laughs> damp. Um, so I go, Mumsy, <laughs> mommy, um, when you're in Colombia, who who ca- cat sits? And he's like, it's Dan and his girlfriend. I said, she just rubbed her whole butthole. <laughs> Over my towels. A child of towels. You gotta tell her to use Esteon's towels. And she goes, Would you use Esteon's towels? I'm like, No, but that's her choice. She made her choice. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's it's disrespect. And she's like, Tuffy, I cannot tell her anything. She feeds the cats while I'm away. I'm not fucking this up for me. Yeah. It's the only time I get to like travel and be with my friends and get drunk on in a farm. I'm not doing this. I'm like, if, if she used your towel, she's like, incomprehensible. <laughs> it's just not so up. My, that's my she's only your remark. Towel, so I see her and she goes, Hi, Tuffy. And I'm like, it's so good to see you. I can't. No, I you can't, can't do it. She's an angel. You, you what are you gonna say? You, you fucked with my towel for yeah, the last time. How do you time. even say that? Hey, I was sorry. Are you using my towels? It's like my special towel. I just started using all my towels. My Macy's Martha Stewart line, two thousand and four oh, pink towels. That bitch. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta break up. That's the you end gotta, of that. Uh, well, uh, no, please don't. <laughs> he would be so upset. She also, I think, has parents that like, like in my house, like you can't sleep with your partner if you come over. You can't yes. sleep unless you're like engaged but i think her parents like love Esteban, so they're like oh come over and sleep over so he like skips <laughs> over there yeah. oh, man it, it, she's so nice she's so, every time i see her she has different color hair oh and it looks girl. healthy kind of like, yeah. i love a pink you know i love a pink <laughs> yeah. i love a pink pink is the best every other color bleeds on all your shit pink i know bleed. i pink know doesn't? but it just fades so fast I, purple i don't know how you did oh my god oh, purple was everywhere everywhere everywhere, everywhere. orange everywhere. my whole i wanted to do orange I know it ble- blood everywhere no mm. it, it, uh, everything that i own then did you dye it question because i have a hair appointment tomorrow did you just dye it brown over the orange yeah so i went to it was already bleached <laughs> and they stripped it again okay and then uh and then they did brown so it, it's just growing out now okay. so okay. i'm like ombre's back yeah, <laughs> I think it looks. I think it is. I'm gonna though. tell myself like that too. I like it. I, so many. I don't want to do trendsetter what anyways. Roots? What are roots? I'm a brunette. I'm not fucking doing that shit. I know. You know what I mean? That's what I'm like. I want to be brown again. I just want to. It's so easy. It's so easy. But 
you will always miss the pink. I know. The moment it's you not, go brown. I'm not going to feel cool anymore. It's like uh, saying goodbye to like that girl. But I, but <laughs> there's one thing where like sometimes when they go to like a real fucking die, I love when the sneakers like stick to the fucking floor. Yeah. I go to a real shithole. Yeah. There's a place around the corner from Rock Rocca that's in a basement. It's a metal bar. Okay. I'm always fucking there. If I see you, I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm like, get that's the fuck out. Place. Yeah. That's what you're geeky. I'm like the yeah. only girl in like a floral <laughs> dress. Everyone else is like, <laughs> like uh, but I love it there. <laughs> And if, but and I would be able to like blend a little bit more when I had the pink. Huh. People were like, "That's Tevi." Yeah, and I'm like, I "That's know. not true. It's not." I get I, I get that all the time. Who is she? <laughs> she must be gorgeous. I know. I know. Everywhere it's like, "Oh, there's the pink hair," and yeah. then it's like, "Oh," and then the ginger right next to her. There yeah. they are. Like, it's like too bright. Hair. Yeah. I'm cro- when I cross the street in LA or something, and one girl is like Tevi, and I see people I'm like, "I'm like, no, no, no," and like run into like a Trader Joe's. I'm yeah. like, I haven't been in a Trader Joe's in ten years. What do I do here? <laughs> This line is so scary. <laughs> <It's out of laughs> control. And I'm like holding one Reese's peanut butter cup. I'm like, this is space food. I'm like, is this cashier trying to fuck me? <laughs> yeah, they are. Or does he hate me? Like, yeah. I can't tell. tell you. Like, Somebody made a funny joke about Trader Joe's and they said, um, it's like if a if you went to a different planet and you were like, this is what you guys are eating? Like, it's like weird. Yeah. It's like not even like labeled right. It's, it's just strange. Sometimes I think price. about like the it aliens coming and like, wh- where would you think that the aliens would be like, what the fuck the most about? West Virginia. Oh. For me, it's Mall of the Americas. <laughs> or like, oh. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the fucking, the, the, mall, the, dream. the America here. Yeah. The, dream. the America here. The America, the America here. dream <laughs> with the water park and the skiing. Yeah. Indoors. I think that they would <laughs> land and, and they'd Gucci. be like, this is Fucking, and they'd be like, "Isn't your planet like rotting?" And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. So no, I like put everything indoors, yeah, with <laughs> a dome over it. Like, you can ski at though. one point in time, hairspray was the biggest issue in the world because uh, <laughs> of the ozone layer. We had to stop using remember hairspray. that hairnet, that Aquanet. You couldn't use it. We couldn't. Oh, yeah. My mom said it was like the day that the hairnet has never. She's like, "You, you've never seen." Hairs were like that. I miss it every uh-huh. day. <laughs> every day. That's what my mom says. She was out to here and it was like rock solid. Oh, my, I look at pictures of my mom and I'm like, mom, she's like, I know. Mm-hmm. I wish, bitch. Those are the days. My mom was talking about her her days. She's like, I had a leather jacket I used to wear, my perm out. Oh, oh yeah. That I, was the, I was a beast. Red my, lip gloss. My mom was working <laughs> finance and she was working at Lehman Brothers. My mom worked at Lehman Brothers. What year? <laughs> her, what year? Um, <laughs> she was 86, 80, 85, 86. Probably around... A little later, maybe. My mom retired in like 2015. Oh, okay. So my yeah. mom moved to Miami um, in 1990. Okay. okay. And she got a new job. She goes, perfect. And then she found out she was pregnant. She's like, these motherfuckers are going to think I fucking planned it. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. like, this in the time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But um, she got the job at Lehman Brothers in the 80s because she was the only one that knew how to fax. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Oh, that's wild. Really? That's crazy. That is crazy. When did faxing start? <laughs> I don't know. Here. I watched movies about it in like the 80s. Okay. The 80s, but like uh, I, I I remember faxing at my first internships. I remember my, I didn't have a cell phone. I had a beeper in oh, fifth grade. Oh, there you go. And somebody on TikTok said, are you a doctor? Go fuck yourself. You know exactly what you're doing. Yeah. You bitch. No, I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> like, fuck off. A beeper? A like, beeper. It just beeps in and then you have to go find a phone to call that person. Yeah, and, and I only had one. And you could put in like numbers. And the only cell phone, the only person I knew with a Palm Pilot, not even a cell phone, was my mom. So she would set me, sit me down. She's like, stop sending me 143. I love you too. I love you too. Oh, but I'm at work and I'm like, <laughs> I have this beeper. Look. And then my I fo- love you. my first phone was a when I realized that you could leave school and still talk to boys. Oh, my brain melted over. for my years, and I had a Metro PCS. <laughs> that was my first phone. Oh fuck yeah! You couldn't tell me shit. But that <laughs> was, was weird it a little too. flippy. No, I had like an egg. It was like a little. It, oh, do you remember how cell phones used to like have a million different? You had the sliders, you had the side yeah. Yeah. yeah, the side swipe or whatever. And no, none was better. It was just like it was new. just everyone had a different one. It's like oh, yours is cool. Yeah, I had the Miami Ink Limited Edition Razor. Oh, it was sickening. It was sick. You can tell me shit. I'm like, you think you're hot? <laughs> Look <laughs> at this shit. Being in a fight with your high school boyfriend and hanging up on him. No, clack. Oh, oh clack. clack. Oh, fuck. Can we they, can, they couldn't that. make a drug that gives me that high. They couldn't make a drug. Oh, that would be so fun to fucking hang up with someone like fuck that. Or, oh, we should get to bring them back. Or mm-hmm. like when you're in a fight with your mom and you hang up, you're like, that was really bad. Like no, that. she's going to be pissed. Mm-hmm. Open it back I, slowly. Have you, ever, have you ever said the door? We got disconnected. Have you ever said the door in your house and then you open it like, 
I didn't mean it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So or right scared. when you said you're like, <gasps> I'm like, here they come. Like, oh my God, I tripped. I'm going under my bed. You know what's, what's like real, like New England, like white girl coded that we didn't have? I've never had somebody take a door off its hinges. Yeah, there so were so many people, people in our high school. Yeah. I'm like, that's fucked up. That's I was thought that was like Friday. too far weird. That's crazy. That kid still needs to change. Yeah, right. no, they, I think they I think they have some problems. Like well, still. they probably had a bathroom for like more more than one bathroom, which is also crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, I only have one bathroom in my house. Uh, my sister, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing in there? She's like thinking. I'm like, thinking? <laughs> High school starts at 715. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> my crush thinking. is in my first class. <laughs> You're fucking me up. I want to smell like stink. Yeah, I, can, I have to only iron this part, Laura. Can you please get out of the fucking bathroom? <laughs> Yeah, yeah we weren't boy girls in no. in high school like we never it was weird we none just, of our friend groups but there was just this one year what was it junior the end junior, of junior year yeah. we're all like all right guys we all have to have sex we have it's to. time to have sex so we just like <laughs> i found one person to have sex with not the same person oh well. we all found one person to have sex with we did and then we just never talked to them again yeah <laughs> Yeah, we never talked about sex. No, no we were just like, let's I, just get it done. Never which made us weird now. <laughs> yeah. Well, me personally. I was with the same boy from 14 to 23. Oh, wow. He, I was not the only girl that he was with, but that's fine. Okay. All right. That's that should fine. happen. Well, Look fine. at you now. I, don't, I, do, I do not wish you well. I do not wish you well. Fuck um, you. But uh, I remember at like 15, 6. No, there was a point where I would look at my best friend. I'm like, I got to tell you something. I don't know what happened, but they're not playing with Barbies anymore. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is up. <laughs> Something tells me they're not watching Nick Jr. either or Cartoon Network. The best stuff. You know what I mean? And I, but there was a real shift from like ninth grade to like 10th grade for me. Yeah. Yeah. Where like ninth grade, it was like, um, where are my sneakers? Like, I just want to play with my friends. And then fifth grade was like, these sneakers make me look fat. Yeah. And my mom's like, what the fuck do you mean? That doesn't even make any yeah. sense. They know they make me look fat. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Mom, I have to. They do. told me, actually. They told me to my face that yeah. uh, it looks fat. Yeah. So no, the mirror says away. fat all over it, right? <laughs> my mom, I was telling Grace, Grace, a piece of baby. We had, we had to go through the tunnel. We had a lot to talk about. Yeah, yes. They came from Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. My mom and my grandma, not once in my fucking life, have ever spoken negatively about their body. Not once in my fucking life. Wow. I cannot think of one memory where my wow. mom's like, why wouldn't, I, why wouldn't I wear a bikini? That's a wow. I don't model. understand. And that my mom's not also sick. like some like bodybuilder. She's a normal. I mean, she works out or whatever. We love Tybo. We were in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. But like she was not somebody that was Josh like. Has. She loves herself. Yeah. She she was a people. Uh, but I would talk about her like stretch marks. I'd be like, oh, um, like would talk about having babies. She's like, that's why I have these stretch marks. And she's like, and then people were like the bikini, the bikini. I had three fucking kids naturally. I'm going to wear the fucking bikini. Fuck you. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Like yeah. she's so normal. Well, she wasn't saying the F words like that. Sorry. <laughs> I think my mom's assistant watches my podcast. Just, <laughs> you're so lucky to have her. Um, <laughs> but, but then I, when later on in life, when I started having like all these like issues about like food and my body, my mom's like, and I was like, it wasn't you. Yeah. It's TV. Like everybody wanted to be, so skinny yeah you know what I mean and I'm like fuck I, th I think I'm I, I I don't think I'm fitting in or whatever or um you know like I I, I have to have boobs but I have to weigh like 90 pounds like yeah. I was like hard uh -huh. the biggest thing was um, and some bitches do yeah and some that really pisses me yeah, off yeah because some bitches were just perfect like that you just stupid we're lucky yeah I know I'm like we live in a culture where I'm relieved that they don't look like that uh, in real life yeah. yeah that's yeah. so fucked I'm like oh so nice to meet you like, oh, oh god kiss me Imagine. i was nervous but wow you look normal i know it's like nicole richie you're fat no, I'm just, no, she's really, though? no but it's like it, I, I live in that culture now we're like my dude i had a myspace did you guys have MySpace? i i, I for a year. second or like a month i got it at yeah. 15 I got a 15 and I uploaded my first picture of me and my friends at the pool and some guy commented, I'll never forget, no tits. Within 15 minutes. <gasps> yeah, when I was like 10, I remember this girl being like, yeah, you really fell out that bikini. I'm like, dude, I'm 10. I'm, I'm 10. I'm literally 10. Also, also it's a tankini, you fucking <laughs> yeah, bitch. <it's> cunt. <laughs> please. <Some> justice. <laughs> like, please. It was. It was brown. Uh, limited I loved two, it. Limited two. Limited yeah. two. And I, I was 5'7 in the fourth grade. Uh -huh. So I got like me three too. months with limited two. Uh -huh. yeah. I saw growing. People are like, what shoe size are you? And I'm like, what shoes are you? And they're like, five. I'm like, same. <laughs> People would be like, did you yeah, get a period no. yet? I'm like, no, did you? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, no, I did too. I did. <laughs> I got mine on the field trip. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. like a movie. I knew what yeah. it was too because the care and keeping of you by American Girl. I knew what it was. <gasps> That, that, that book raised my life. me. Yeah, because I was the same way. I was 5'8 in fifth grade, 
I got my period when I was somewhere going into fifth grade. I was I, like, you were at swimming camp. Yep, I was yeah, at swimming camp. Like a movie too. Yeah. Yep. I was in a, there's a national park in Miami called um, Virginia Key. It's where like hmm. sea, uh, sea turtles and there's like bacteria and like ferns there that are like Ooh, only there. Cool. So yeah. you have to wear these like certain like cargo pants, no. swamp pants so you can walk <laughs> through the mud. They're khaki colored. Of course they are. Oh, right. well, God wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, no way. But yeah, the care and keeping of you, I say that I treat that book like like the, the like Bible. The Sanderson sisters book. Yeah, yeah, like that's yeah. my like. Oh yeah, was that that's funny? Yeah, <laughs> was that the one that like taught you like you're gonna About, like your go boobs. through changes? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the, the American Girl doll. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, the boob like, pictures. It carries yeah. Yeah. now. Like I totally. think every little girl should no, have it. No, it taught you how I to self check for cancer. Like so sick. And other other uh, places in the world didn't have that. Yeah, I'm like that sucks. <laughs> it was like pubes Damn. are normal, and I was like, oh my god, yeah. like, a bunch of different god. nipple sizes. Yeah, like, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but there was a long time when I was like, you you don't have nipples like my nipples. Mm. You know yeah, I mean? that was and then that all was vaginas are different. I was That's like, crazy to me. Wow, that was crazy. To me. You know, I, know. I, I learned that watching TV that there's this like no on TikTok that this like woman was doing like different no Twitter mm. that this woman was doing different like vulvas, and I'm like. Sick. Yeah. The Amy and the Audi thing. I was it's like, wow. fascinating. Oh, didn't know. I thought everyone just had the same vagina as me. Yeah. I thought so for a lo- like too long. You know? uh, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't come up in convo. Yeah, it doesn't. What's your vagina? You got, God, yeah, my, you my, my pussy's so <laughs> little. Let me see that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare. Have you pussy. noticed your pussy stays inside? <laughs> <laughs> like, or is it always outside? <laughs> is your pussy outgoing? My friends are like, yeah, we're in the middle today. of karaoke. <laughs> Why are your pussy lips out? This is weird, Teffy. Oh God, Teffy's at the pussy phase of her drunk, of her drunkenness. <laughs> no, was, but yeah, like being a kid and being like fucking tall, I used to pray to God every day to make me 4'11". Oh, mm. I wanted to be so cute and condensed yeah. and I was just a long tree stuff. I mean, like, you're oh. you're doing your class picture and it's like, oh, there I am immediately. Yep. I see it. I know. But I'm like, so where do you think? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and you always have to go on the bottom of the pyramid when your friends wanted to do yes. the pyramid. Oh, yeah. during, All your friends, yeah. yes. During during recess, the recess, they're like, like you're at the bottom. God damn mm. it. I yeah. always wanted to be at the top. I would like slouch. I'd be like, nope, oh, sure. Oh, yeah. I used to drink coffee. <laughs> me and my, me and my other tall friend, we looked up how to stop being tall. Oh, yeah. my I God. Started I started smoking cigarettes in fifth grade. So we grade. would drink the Starbucks like Frappuccino, <laughs> like the ones that you buy the at the grocery shake, store. Yes. The gross-ass ones. Throwing it's like, no, I just gained weight. I didn't stop growing. <laughs> like, fuck, I'm tall. <laughs> and my pants won't fit. Yeah, yeah. And that's fuck. me during the pandemic, too. Like, I, I really let that bitch go. I was walking, and I was like, I could feel my ass jiggle behind me and this has never happened before. <laughs> I know. And I'd like put on jeans and like, God, I gotta stop washing this. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. God. Yeah. It's insane. But there's like stains on them you're like, wait, damn. Damn it. <laughs> I actually <laughs> haven't washed this. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's, that's Jägermeister. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drank Jägermeister in years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing worse than feeling something jiggle that's never jiggled before. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was like, whoa. Well, I was super excited too. I was like, not booty te- not now this era. Uh, <laughs> hey. Butts are in. <laughs> never been like in a sundress before and been like I'm a little nervous you know usually it's like move along little boy like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> the sundress ain't, ain't clapping for me you know but yeah the sun the sundress era was a big era for me also the Victoria Victoria's Secret sundresses were mm. huge in high school mm. huge because you would get the catalog do you remember Delia's yes oh yes. my so god Delia's. I love Delia's I was, they always they always got a sale. Long there yeah <laughs> the, the, their graphic tees in my in my I'll in never. the mall that I would go to, listen to this. It was Johnny Rockets upstairs. Oh, then downstairs there was Charlotte Russe, Wet Seal, and Delia's. Dude, we yep. lived the same life. Yeah, yeah. And we had Rue Twenty One mixed in. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That one's dirty. Deb, <laughs> do you have Deb? No, we didn't have Deb. I think that was I think New England. That was, yeah. That's the prom shit. Yeah. yeah. Prom, no, I never had that. Yeah, we would just go. We get had grandmothers. Dresses, dresses on. Mm. I found yeah. a Charlotte yeah. Russe shirt at a vintage store in Brooklyn for sixty dollars. I saw shit in me. I saw one on Depop for like sixty bucks. I, I was said, like, that would be ten dollars when we were oh, in like you know fifth what's grade. Coming back, I saw an ad for you. what was that monkey. The oh, yeah, Paul Frank. Paul oh, Frank, yes. yeah. I had the back. bedding. Yeah. <laughs> I, had the I bedding. loved it. I loved it. Love that little piece of shit. It's because immediately I put it on, I said, not me being Hillary Duff. Yeah, I'm right? right? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to be her so bad. I saw a girl at the airport the other day, and she had the hair wrap. Like the wrap, mm. like the ones that oh, you oh, I used to the- save those. Like, I wear them until my hair fell out with them, and I have them in a memory box still. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Yeah. That was for like my That's best friends. Well, you need it for DNA just in yeah. case. I always think that. Yeah. My mom has my baby teeth, and I'm like, oh my God, you're so obsessed. We're going to oh need those. Yeah. So yeah. For when I like, I look to keep myself in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> hustling again. Yeah, just when you're plumbing like, no. in West Virginia for some reason. <laughs> it's, so, it's so crazy to me because I like look at things now, and I'm like, we did that. Yeah. 
We did. I know the double polo is coming back. I'm just waiting for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? If the double polo comes back, but so does like a, a million layers, mm. I'm down. Mm. The Olsen homeless layer. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Give it to oh, me. Yeah. The layers. They got to come back, me. right? Layers got to come back. You look like those old people at sea with the lamps. I want it. Yes. I want it so bad. Yes. I kind of want to rip a poof going. Get That's a, what a, I know. I just want to try to bring them back. But a bump really? it? didn't work. Bump yeah. it. I, I, would, I have no volume in my hair. The things that I would do for a bump just it. bump it in the back. Yeah. Tease the shit We never out of wore it. the bump it. We would like tease. Because we're not in the South. Yeah. 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 We're not pledging for a sorority. Yeah. Hold on. Wait. I did like a. Those TikToks, though. Are life to me. What the Bama talk? Da- yeah. Oh my god. Her, her, full, Terrified first of all, me. The organization, the mini fridge with the skincare next to you, and I feel That's like what I wish I was. They're not organized. They're bullied into being tight. Yeah. yeah they're they're they hate themselves. Oh my god. They hate themselves. They have to like crawl out of their whole like mask when they go to bed. Yeah. And then yeah. they Zip it back up. Or like everything is like Lululemon. Everything is like. I've never worn a vineyard vines in my life. I thought the Lily Pulitzer was a suggestion. I thought it was a front. I thought it was laundering money. (laughs) I've never seen anybody anybody wear that shit. I actually used to buy everything vineyard vines when I was in seventh grade. Like, I think I kept the vineyard vines in my mall running for like a year. You held it on. I also lived in a very white New Jersey town. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) she's a rich kid growing up. (laughs) But like vineyard vines, like it had a choke hold on me and I'm, and I was, I'm embarrassed. Pastels. How many rooms do you have in your house? How many bathrooms? I had. (laughs) Because we rented. You already had. I had. Don't be be proud. That's why people are in this country. Just counting. Please. Five. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah. I thought you were yeah. Take a second. Yeah. Five. Five. How many siblings? Two. Oh my god. Yeah. A dream. A dream. I always. Was, oh my god. Going to your rich friend's house, you're like, you're in your own bathroom. Oh my god. I know. And then your mom's like, why do you apologize to your friends when they come over? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems I right. Always, I had one bathroom upstairs, and every every door connected to it. So like my mom's room did, the hallway did, mine did. It was just it's like, like you're naked. You're like, come on. Yeah. No, uh, did you have like a playroom or an electronics room? Yes. <gasps> yeah. 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 <laughs> TV room is what we call. Did you it. ever like um? Kiss a boy in those rooms. <laughs> That's where so I had my first kiss. To hide. Yeah. Oh, I had to go seek in a mansion. Is the best. Oh my god. My cousins were rich. I was like, and you, you had lights like on. You had lights like installed on the ceiling, right? Like you just had a light switch. Oh, the slider. <laughs> oh wow. I just had a lamp that you had to plug in. <laughs> I'm like yeah. Like, yeah. And my mom's like, ah, the electricity bill. And I'd, I'm like, ah, oh, dude, it's 3 p.m. Yeah. I'm like, really? I just fuck, dude. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. The dream. Uh, we were saying last episode. I was like, it's only cool to be rich when you're a kid. Like like. And your parents are rich because when you grow up it's not as fun it's like yeah. you can't play hide and seek mm-hmm. you can't be like friends come to my rich house it's no like, no no you just my, watch your kids enjoy it my mom like the, her career like uh she started like really really uh you know like having her own wealth at when i was when Estelle could still fucking enjoy it, you stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah. But I, there that's was a, why he thinks you're a normie. That's yeah. why. I, that's true. <laughs> loser. You learned to drive in a Volvo. I learned to drive in an Audi. You motherfucker. So blue collar. I was in the mud with mom. <laughs> no, not even. But I, I, um, I grew, I grew up in a neighborhood called uh, Coral Gables, and Coral Gables is like an affluent yeah. town. But like, there's an arc that says like, "Welcome to Coral Gables," and it's like Calle Ocho, like Eighth Street, like Little Havana, right across the street. And my mom and my grandparents worked so fucking because then I got to go to those schools. Yeah. So we worked right. She, they were like right fucking there. But I could see the sedanos, like the I could see the guy selling agua, agua like uh, fucking. How do you say cucumber? No, um, <laughs> avocados, like avocados and mangoes and like all the fruits across, like you know. But when I tell people like you're from Coral Gables, mm. like oh you're a rich girl, I'm like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I claim that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. Wait, can I ask you something? Did you have a basement? Yes. You don't get it. Miami sea level. We never had that shit. <laughs> You'd be like, I, I think like every t- house in my town though had basement just because like we're so we're not li- like New Jersey's right by the water, but like it was very easy to have a basement. Like I feel like Miami. We're also like, by the water. <laughs> no, it, it, we're sea level. You can't. You can't go under. You can't. Yeah, yeah, in. yeah. So yeah. like especially. I don't know. I think that after Andrew, like we were trying to build houses as much as possible. Yeah. That's a hurricane in the 90s. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Even I was like, Wait, were, you guess. were you always terrified of like hurricanes? No, stuff? they mean I no was, school. I was oh, hurricane oh. party. It's our snow day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Snow. And the houses are built for it too. Okay. The only, the only scary stuff that happens during a hurricane is if it, people, like even, there's like stuff that like is mandatory in Miami, like coming to New York and being like, that's where you would 
put in your AC unit. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's, it's here, right? We had a like, lot of hurricanes in New Jersey, too, for some really weird reason. I know, reason. Irene, it's climate change. Come it's all that yeah. hairspray. It's all yeah. that. Yeah. 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 It's, it's your parents' fault. Yeah. We're using all those damn straws. <laughs> yeah. My friend is like, I went to Chicago, and my friend ordered a plastic straw, and I was like, what? And she's like, there are no fucking turtles in Chicago. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Those are, they're just sewer brats. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in, in Miami, it's Central AC always. Mm. And something, uh, Central AC and something else. What was I going to say? Uh, you, no well, you did this for work. You should know. Uh, in Miami? Miami? AC? I'll know if I'm there. <laughs> um, in, my, in Miami, something else. Oh, that, that there's no there's no basements and all the houses are put together. Like mm. really close together. Yeah, why are they so That's close how why you know because after the oh, after the hurricane, the rebuilding, the construction okay. companies and people buying those lots, it was a moneymaker. Mm. And especially in the eighties when the Cuban people came over too. It was like so many fucking people. Housing oh. was everything. Yeah. Mm. And with more people, especially like Cuban people and island people, um, clubbing outlet nightlife so more and more and more and more mm. and more you know and uh, that's why you can tell if you're in an affluent community because there's spaces between the house they have yards oh, yeah yeah, yeah. You know what i mean wait so you grew up in miami when did you move to new york 2012 for fun 2013 no well i was <laughs> in miami and my eating disorder got really bad. That was really white and rich of me. And <laughs> so then I moved to Bogota. My mom's from Colombia and we have family in Bogota. And I went to a rehab, which is the happiest time of my life. Oh, yay. I had to beg to stay. That's what I was telling you. <laughs> yeah. Adult coloring and group <laughs> yoga? Yeah. Are you joking? Oh, she liked it. You hate it. Yeah. I loved it. We go on walks together. I never got to go outside. Oh, my God. You guys could do team building. We go on field, We would go to field trips to the mall. Oh, How long were you there? I was there for almost six months. Oh, oh shit. You amazing. were really there. Were there um, a lot of people like your age to, yeah. to like connect There with? was somebody in there in her 40s. Mm. There was somebody. And then there was also a girl who was there like 11. And the perspective is also great. The perspective is also like... Uh, there are so many reasons this happened and there's so many f and just being together and talking about like you just feel better mm. you know and then my mom was like you have to come back to U.S. you know um, it's time you know and I was like I don't, I don't want to go back to Miami and my mom was like everybody should run away to New York at some point like for a year or whatever That's a good why don't you mom. go to New York That's so yeah. well I have my family in Connecticut so it's also she's like oh, yeah, if shit right sucks yeah. you tell your aunt you have a lifeline and yeah. I know how to get you know how to get there you tell your aunt I come get you or you come down to Miami and that's it Yeah. And uh, sorry how old were you when you I was 23 Okay. Mm. I just turned 23 I've been here for 10 years. It's crazy. Wait, so what was it like when you moved here? Were you like terrified? Did you um, love my it? My first job ever. Have you seen The Hills? The yeah, room, uh, I know yes. of it, but I haven't yeah. seen it. My yeah. first boss here was Kelly Catron. Oh, really? I worked for her. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't tell anybody that. I never talk about it. Thank you for I am sharing. still scared of you, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, was that scary? Yeah, it's scary, but I think also I didn't care. I wasn't as invested because I knew I didn't want to be in fashion PR, but mm. I had worked in styling for so long that I, I just knew that I, I knew what to do mm. and I knew the how to handle the people there I guess but uh there are people that wanted fashion PR is probably the most toxic industry I've like ever seen because it's not even it's about it's clout chasing it's mm, basically yeah. what it is mm. and it's, but in fashion so it's even like harder yeah. than just like regular fucking PR so I got there and everybody wanted to be go to these parties they wanted to um be seen they wanted to do cool shit whatever socialites were the I wanted to the go. original influencers yeah. yeah I wanted to go to yeah <laughs> Olivia Palermo was like a was like a uh, client of hers or whatever and we did like Moschino and with Jeremy Scott and all these like other things and and it was fun and it was it was cool to see that but like I was always late I didn't mm. give a fuck mm. she knew I didn't give a fuck yeah so and then her daughter would have like Spanish homework and she'd be like, can you help her and then she'd come back and she'd be like it's all wrong. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I just came back from Bogota. Like, what are you talking about? You know, but uh, so I had an experience there that was like, I wasn't hustling with her. Mm. But then it got to the point also where they like were like, too. I wasn't scared of her either, mm. but I did. I think that we have all had bosses. She comes from a different time, but we've all had bosses who like are very emotionally reactive yeah. or like they can be in a good mood. Like if like on my team, I can talk to my manager and I have no idea that him and his boyfriend got into a fight. Mm, yeah. It's not, it's not my problem. You know what I mean? So like they separate it. We, and we've all had a boss where it's like, 
fucking um like what 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 do you want yeah. you're fucking you're this you guys nobody knows how to fucking do anything she called me this morning you're fucking late what the fuck do you want i'm like cool and um you're running around with your your, your daughter failed spanish <laughs> yeah. i think i have something to do with it you know what i mean like fuck so i think it was just like that situation where i was like this is a little to because then you build if you stay in toxic workplaces or relationships too long they bleed into everything and i knew that if i stayed i was going to be in a healthy company where they trusted me to do my work and they weren't breathing down my neck and i would convince myself they didn't like me because i'm used to being micromanaged and criticized all the time mm -hmm. so i like didn't want that to bleed into that you know what i mean and i was getting the minimum of it because i was also like playing stupid like i don't know how to do that <laughs> well, I guess I'll dress the mannequin. Like, please. Yeah. So I, that was an experience for me. But then, but then I worked retail and then they needed a personal shopper in there. And I'm like, oh, I've been doing that for years. And then I would do that in the mornings and the evenings. I'd do Equinox and I couldn't let either of personal training and then I would do <laughs> and they didn't neither of them could know that I had another job because then you know like it would uh you're not loyal to this company and that's and crazy because you're just trying to like pay me more, more. Yeah. Yeah. pay me more what do you expect and then I was also doing like interning for other places because I didn't know what I wanted to do yet so I was like it was crazy and yeah. then and then I lived in the city I lived on 96 and park and then um my friends lived in Williamsburg so I was basically working to pay my rent and also afford the uber yeah. to Williamsburg from the upper east fucking side that's when you could do an uber pool though that was sick yeah that was sick you met a lot of <laughs> I, forgot about that. I hooked up once with a guy that i met an uber for no really shit. and one time i hooked up with an uber driver anyway <laughs> <laughs> i said why don't we go to the strip club yeah you know what new york is a fantastic place <laughs> but with so you oh, fell in love with new york when you moved here oh yeah I mean, well i got to be this new person that i liked now yeah, yeah. in miami i i was this person i was like i could not get away from myself yeah like my mom told me that before i went to columbia like you can go to bogota if you want you know what i mean like we can send you to a fucking program in paris but you'll be there with you so mm -hmm. like i'm just telling you know that and i said why are you being wise right now yeah, stop being so she fucking is wise. so fucking wise man she is, no, she is. i want to meet her she, is. she says a lot of cool stuff like i need to see a picture after because i'm mom, picturing what she looks like in if my i showed head. you her whatsapp photo Oh, I need to see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, she's reclined in a... I'm, I'm not going to show you. I, I'll, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'll show you. But yeah, she's somebody who, like... She tells me things. I think she doesn't take away the humanity of it. And she's the kind of person, if I went up to her and I'm like, I killed somebody, she's like, first of all, get the fuck out of my house. Yeah. And, and third of all, I will come visit you every weekend, but yeah. you have to go do something. You know what I mean? Yeah, Whatever. you fucked up and you're going to pay. She, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like, you won't, you'll never be a murderer forever to me, but for now, yeah. You know, yeah. like, but she's so, she's, she's, she's just someone, like real and honest about. Yeah, my friends okay. are like going through a breakup. They come over. I'm like, oh, your mom. I'm like, you call my mom? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, yeah. They're like, I talked to her for like two hours. Or like, That's awesome. Two of my friends got back together and they're like, your mom called us. I said, what? <laughs> She's she like, yeah, she's everything. the person I talked to most during the breakup. I was like, so when you told me I'll call you back, you, you were talking, talking to my, my mom? mom? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. This is my mom is somebody, too, that she's like, I'm going to tell you something about that. It's not like an asshole. <laughs> Immediately, she's on your side. Yeah. She's like, you could have been nicer, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Or she's like, he doesn't want to be with somebody fun. That's our problem now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it, but yeah, uh, go, being in New York too, it's also exciting because my parents, my parents met, my, my dad came from Brazil and he got lost the same, the first day and he asked somebody for um, directions and it was my mom. Oh, and that's how they met. Adorable. In front of Trump Tower. Oh, um, yes. Well. <laughs> hey, I'm like, man back then. I'm like, Columbus <laughs> Circle. Uh, during the time, Trump yeah. stakes? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I, know. I was about to say, like, he wasn't, like, that bad. <laughs> Up until the end of The uh, Apprentice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. just a reality TV Like, no guy. one knew how bad he was at that time. <laughs> yeah. He was so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. I like, it wasn't pushing like, views. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, Donnie, you're acting crazy. You yeah. used to be funny at the Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Now you're kind of scaring me, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Tweeting about Twilight and how he, like, doesn't think Kristen Stewart's the best actress. so funny. Disgusting, protruding nipples is one of the <laughs> That's just wild. best how could you nipple that. shame a grown man you didn't read the American no. Girl Dog book and you know what kills sure. me <laughs> what kills me is that all of us were like I see it <laughs> yeah, damn it fucked on but I think that's another thing too like my my cousin um, in Latin culture, I'm sure in every culture, like you call your mom's best friend your aunt. Oh yeah, so she's so here. Yeah. They had to tell us that we weren't related. I was oh, like, what the shit. fuck are you talking about? 
but they were in New York at the same time by accident. Like they've been following each other forever. And they were here. So they used to party together all the time. So I'll go to a bar that my mom used to go to with her friends. Oh, that's crazy. They, they used to party at the same club as Drew Barrymore Madonna called Limelight. It's a gym now. Oh, okay. shit. That's Across cool. a, like a Bic art store. Hmm. And they were like, excuse me, am I your member here? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just a <nostalgic>. reminiscing. <laughs> but that's another thing too. Like I think about it like one day, like maybe my nieces or nephews or like my godchildren or maybe my kids or whatever, they'll come and be like, my mom used to get fucked up at this metal bar. <laughs> it's a yeah, beautiful thing. Yeah, she used to have you orange know? hair. She used to have orange hair. Yeah. This is her towel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want kids? So full circle. Do I want kids? I think, yeah. I think at the point where if I don't, if I don't, I think I'm f- I could be fulfilled. I yeah. don't think we live in a time where it's like expected or like especially living in New York. Yeah. I feel like you just feel like you are, you're just young forever. Yeah. The women carrying the strollers up those Oh, I always God. help too. I'm like, baby, shut yes. the fuck up. We're doing this. I know, it's yes. crazy. It takes a village. You are a superhero. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing too. Like I think uh I one my mom always says, like, I hate kids, but I love my kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, and you were kind of bitchy to <laughs> us, too. Yeah. Like, you know, but, like, uh, she, I, I feel that way. Um, I, th- I know my friends want to have kids, so I'm like, they'll have kids. If I do have kids, I think I'd be excited about it. Mm. But I'm going to be honest, birth sounds really oh fucking bad. Yeah, that whole thing really is like, I always say I just want a C-section. I'd rather yeah. the scar. I'm, I'm just not like, pushing it out. Yeah, but then surrogate. you're like fucking wounded for like months. Oh. They have to take, you know, they have to take all your organs out and put them on the table. Take the Brave baby heart out, shit. And then put your organs back in place. I'm throw up. I don't want Oh, that. actually, I do know because I saw my little sister get born. Ugh. Born? She was born. born. That'll make you not want to have kids. I was well, like, it's so nice to meet you. I'm like, look. <laughs> my mother. <laughs> gross. Very nice to make your acquaintance. Because <laughs> He's done it three times. He was kind of like tapped out. It's just yeah. dead. No, you're like guys she, are guys. Whatever. She can't. Be, she looks nothing like, like. Give me your hand. I'm like, oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> How much older are you? Um, that that age gap is 15 years. Oh, so you remember? Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, my brother. I'm six years older than my brother. So I was like, I blinked, and he was in this little glass crib. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> I think. I think about. I think my whole life, I've been preparing myself for the. For the pain of birth mm. and now i'm like but i'm what if i never have to do it yeah it's kind of a nice thing isn't that fucking good yeah, that's honestly true it's like you don't have <laughs> you to. Don't have my to mom said like honestly she was like if i could have a four child home like if i could have i would have adopted a kid i would love to yeah. adopt the fucking kid yeah or, if they um, murder foster. me they murder? Yeah. Foster. Foster. yeah i couldn't yeah. think of the word foster. thanks man <laughs> i would love to give a, especially in colombia um there are kids that are desplazados like display not homeless is kind of the translation for it but it really means is like the gorillas came in and they were kind of in the country so all these like farmers and people would leave to the city and leave their kids behind because it's so they could find work thinking they would come back to their kids and it was so there's a bunch of these displaced children yeah. i would love and to this day people think it's over it's happening to this day i would love to adopt a, a, like a, a colombian kid just sounds like a perfect you know what i mean great yeah. or like so kids whenever you're saving. like ready it doesn't even now there's no timeline because you're not I do working it? on Should a birth fuck it no yeah. i'm just kidding can, not yet when i stepped on my i stepped on a pizza box today like get like getting out of my apartment i had pizza like three days ago i'm not ready i'm not ready I'm yeah you're not ready i'm not, not ready i'm not ready i don't think you're house. ever ready to have a kid though are you ever ready i don't know i don't know i think my mom was married and she um they um, and they had my grandparents mm-hmm. and my aunt up here. Uh, she had my, th- there was a village. She had my grandfather, she had my great aunt, um, my great uncle, Uncle Louie <gasps> from the Bronx. What a yeah. guy. They got married at the t- at Tavern on the Green. He was a Ooh, concierge lovely. at the Waldorf Astoria. Uncle he had Louis. a lot of stories. He's like, if you want to go to Broadway, I know somebody. And I'm like, so do I. <laughs> He's always got a guy for something. Yeah. It's the guy, it's the guy to friend who sells you the fucking ticket. Yeah. No, but, I, but yeah. The TV fell off a truck. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like, you want to see cats? Because I got it on VHS. These are no good. You know what I mean? Like, So I love it. But I, uh, I had like a village and I was like, that's the only thing that if I think I had, if I had kids, I'd have to live in Miami. Like, yeah. if you want to be near your family yeah you'd have to go back to boston yeah that's where yeah. i picture myself having kids i think i think i could yeah. settle down there yeah really yeah mm. i think miami is tough for me because i know what i did yeah <laughs> i, I should be dead i look at my friends i'm like we should be dead I yeah know. but i want my kids to do the same shit yeah but you did those things and we did them around gators we should be that's dead crazy. that's crazy yeah <laughs> we should be dead and like a guy on meth like oh, yeah. running around trying <laughs> so to so much you. so many drugs yeah where we would drink something and be like 
is it drugged no mm. it's good all That's right crazy. Mm-hmm. someone everyone takes turns being the tester yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or like somebody's like throwing up <laughs> always there's always like a pukey puke and it's always like blue we yeah it was always a UV beautiful blue. color but we drank so much because one of us had to hook up with the bartender and it was never me mom <laughs> it was always me. I'm like, be me. <laughs> oh, I'll go this time. Oh, oh, you did it last week, Debbie. Like, clink, clink. Oh, God, here I go. Yeah, I think that's what it is, too. It's like, uh, my mom did such a... My mom did the job, and I think we, like, turned out okay. Then I'm like... I don't know, dude. We all know people who come from like two parent homes who had the fucking golden retrieve. Oh, you grew up white and rich. No, you grew up white and rich. You know exactly how you meet people. You're like, bro, like that was like, she had uh, vacations and she went on the cruises and she had the two parents and she had like the American Eagle and Mar- uh, Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. And that bitch is fucked up. Yeah. And I'm I have like, a yeah, lot of issues. Fucked. You do? No, yeah. I think you're a baby angel. Thank you. Put him in the basement. Put him in the basement. <laughs> Put him in b- the finished basement. And I look at some of my friends, I'm like, you had the house and you have everything and you're a fucking lunatic. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. no matter. It, it's Everyone has also, shit. That's the thing. Like, you can do exactly what your parents did and then maybe even better. But you never know how your kid's going to turn out. You know out. what I've realized yeah. too about people know. who have everything is that like, not people who have everything, but people who maybe are like, Coral Gable Senior High is a public school. So you have kids who literally are wearing the clothes that they like came with. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or like yeah. there's Haitian kids there that are in English classes mm-hmm. uh, because they're new here. Like it's very new. I mean, it's very you're very used to in Miami to embrace people who are here for say you know they're here for a reason. Mm-hmm. And there was never any like oh fuck you, you're Cuban like nothing. It was we very much knew that Miami's entire ecosystem revolved around Cuban people who came here and like built these nightclubs mm-hmm. and did and made these restaurants whatever. I forgot my fuck. Oh, and then you'd meet these people who um, were wealthy Latin people. Mm-hmm. The the richest people I know are Latin people. When people are, like when I see Law and Order and they're like, "Come on, oh, the projects, they're all Mexican." I'm like, "The richest people I know are Mexican. What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? Have you ever heard a Mexican talk about their oil reserve? Like, are you out of your fucking minds?" <laughs> so, but I would see them and I'd look at them and and they would look at us, not like us, but like maybe like I single parent home, you know. We didn't have, was it a 1997 Honda Odyssey? Yeah. And they brought me from point A to point B, yeah, bitch. It's the same shit, you know, yeah. and, but they felt like they were missing out on trauma. Yeah. So I look at some of my friends and they're like, yeah, but in fifth grade, like my, my English teacher was really mean to me. I'm like, are you, are you okay? <laughs> that, that would be kid. the best part of my day. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, you're letting 10 year old you call the shots. Right Come on. <laughs> what the fuck and I'm just so sometimes I'm like maybe how do I make sure my kids suffer like a little bit? yeah like a little bit just give them a little a little bit like for me yeah. showing up to school and I'm like mom I want Adidas she's like for sure for sure and I show up and the fifth grader is like why do her Adidas have four stripes how could you oh, <laughs> you prick how could you <laughs> there's nothing worse that's what I tell people about like production and stuff I'm like we're either gonna make it amazing or it's gonna be shitty on purpose. Yeah. I can't have you, you can't trying between, to look yeah. great and it fails. Bear, I would show up with bear paws, not the Uggs. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I'd go to the bathroom and I'd go to Lost and Found and say, hey, do you have any fucking shoes? My please, size? please. I'm a size 15, I'm 10. Uh, you do? Okay, another one. A sock? Yeah, please. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? It's like very. So I look at, I look at uh, people with basements. <laughs> I'm like, we're not all so different. No. We're not all so yeah. different. You, me, an eating disorder in a basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The play. <laughs> that's, what it is. That's, what, that's, that's the name of the title. Episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're probably, we how long are we, how what time, long are we yeah, going? What time yeah. is it? I I'll make sure no you're all right. I think we're probably. I have um, a phone, 2.40. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Perfect. 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 Do you want to wrap it up? Yeah. I kind of have to. Plug yeah. I have to go get my antidepressants. Yes. That's what I have to do. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. I just re-upped my dosage. Yeah. What are you on? Effexor. I've, that's new. I've yeah. never heard of a fixer. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have never heard of it either, but my, that's what I was prescribed. He's like, she, can you believe she's taking it? Yeah. <laughs> she's the test monkey. Yeah. I'm the first person ever to take it. No, I've, I I've, think they're working. It's like, they're high. working they're great, working. and that's all yeah. that matters. Yeah, how long have yeah. you been on them? Three months? Four oh, yeah, months? you're chilling. Yeah. You're chilling. Let's go, yeah. gee. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, absolutely. My friends are Alexa Pro. I'm like, you don't fuck anymore, huh? <laughs> Just <laughs> <Saturday>. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Lou, 
Lube foreplay. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Please. I, no, I was never on Lexic for a place. Oh, my God. <laughs> please. No way. I'm sorry. We'll be your chin. We'll be your chin for life. But yeah, what, what were you going to say? Sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. Um, is there anything you want to plug? Your new show? You talked about it in no. the beginning. What are you up no. to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm fucking nah. done. Thanks. If you watch, you watch. They know me, bitch. <laughs> Stay tuned. I might have the balls to post my shit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. Hello, That's Teffy. Teffy. Yeah. I'm trying to find a way to tell Instagram and TikTok, can I get the Teffy at? Can I like the Yeah, you need handle? that. Oh, you don't have it? No, you are I Teffy. have Hello Teffy. It's like, hello, and, it's Teffy, right? Yeah, but you type in Teffy and you come up first. Yeah. I do, yeah, I yeah. do, and it's like Teffy breakup. I'm like, mind your fucking business. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's he sucked. Surprise, yeah. like, please. But <laughs> it's like Teffy knows. I'm like, stop. <laughs> um, but I think uh, there's a girl from like Venezuela who like a year ago I was like, can I have the Teffy handle? She's like, ha ha. Oh, that's it. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, bitch. <laughs> like, oh, that's that's kind of it. baller. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 Fuck off. Let, it's not like it was a dormant account. It was yeah. just. <laughs> I even wrote it in Spanish. I was like, hola, como estas? And then she's, ha ha, H-A-H-A? You don't even want to. Didn't even me me ha -ha. Not, not even halfway, yeah. stupid bitch. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to take it from you, and I'm going to see you soon. I'm Hello Teffy, Hello Teffy now, but later at Teffy. You'll see. It's You'll coming. See. It's You'll coming. See. Come soon. She's going to beat that bitch up. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I will beat that bitch. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Behind, <you're> like, Go. <laughs> well, this was awesome. This was yeah. great. Great episode. Thank it's you like for having an older on. sister. I know. <laughs> Teffy's the best. <laughs> Not that her. I'm much older. <laughs> I literally told her, like, my brother and my sister have never in their lives asked me for advice. I try to give it. They're like, that's enough now. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think they learned from example. I'm well, listening like this. Like, I know. Just listening. <laughs> oh, my God. My, my brother and my sister are like, can you believe people say they want you to be their big sister? I was like, I know. They must have loved being late to high school. I <laughs> <laughs> it's different when it's your own siblings. All right. Love yeah, you guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>